Hello everyone. This is a screencast to walk students through the most recent summative assessment for creating a buying plan to end unit three on personal finance. If you go from classroom to classwork, you're going to find under the unit three personal finance heading, this assignment called creating a buying plan summative. There are several attachments in here. Try not to get confused. I know it's a little overwhelming, but you have one document here called Eight Simple Rules, and this is just a review of the video that we watched in class about some of the things you need to think about before making a large major purchase like an automobile or a home. Things such as waiting, thinking about opportunity cost. By opportunity cost, we mean what could you, what else could you be doing with that money? If you spend money on one thing impulsively, that's money that can't go towards something else in the future. Um, and uh, the other you know, important piece of advice uh, to consider would be not spending money before you have it. Make sure you have money saved and don't spend money because you know something's coming like a, a bonus check or um, a tax return or something like that. So going back to the assignment, included uh, in the assignment as well are several links to sites for major purchases, such as automobile, large appliances, a computer perhaps, uh, phones, a boat, and uh, real estate. But the most important thing is this document here, creating a buying plan. So you are going to be asked to make a buying plan for two major purchases, and also write an advice column that answers questions about spending. These are questions to consider. And remember, you are not answering these questions as part of this assignment. These are just things you need to keep in mind as you are making your purchasing plans. So when you make your buying plan, you want to practice using this strategy. You're going to write down something that you want to buy. As an example, you, know, you want to buy a car. And then your budget. Let's say you know a reasonable budget would be $250 a week. Um, or I'm sorry, that should be a month. What's your criteria? Three things that you want to see in a car. Things we talked about. Again, it doesn't say three on your document and your assignment, but you want to list three things. You know, do you want to have, you know, um, proper technology? Do you want to have Bluetooth available to you? Do you want to have um, other possible technological um, things like, uh, for instance, uh, mapping? You know, you want to be able to, uh, do you want OnStar? Do you want there to be a plan where your car would be, um, somebody would come and tow you if your car broke down? Um, other things to consider would be obviously the price and gas mileage and things of that nature. So you want to write down three things that are important to you before purchasing a car. Your choices are going to be the choices you make based on, going back to this, opening up this link or some other link uh, to find out three different types of cars that would meet your criteria. You know, you could, it could be a Ford or a Chevy or a GMC or a Volkswagen or a Nissan, whatever it is. Um, you're just going to take the, write down the make and model of the car. Then you're going to write down from these three choices what your decision is for that car. And then you're going to make three, um, three or four statements like the payment plan was going to work for me. It stayed within my budget. Um, I, you know, appreciated the fact that it had good gas mileage and I would probably, you know, you know, say I had a job where I was going to have to drive, you know, um, somewhere between 15 and 45 miles a day round trip to get back and forth to work. These are the things that you're going to take into consideration when talking about your choice. You're going to do the exact same thing for number two based on something else you want to buy, whether it's a home or an appliance or a computer or something. You're going to talk about what your budget is. What are you going to look for in that particular product? Come up with three choices based on researching from the various sites that are here, remember, linked to the assignment. Say what decision you made and what your choice was. The last thing you're going to do is you have three scenarios here. You're just going to pick one of them and give advice to the person based on the questions they're asking. They say what their name is, what they want to do, um, and you know what you're going to give them three or four pieces of advice as to what they should do before they make this purchase. But again, remember, you're only picking one of them. That's it for now.